Are you done? Well, hey, y'all. Big E here from Texas. Another beautiful Sunday. It's actually the Sunday after Christmas, so happy birthday, Jesus. And we're out here in the, in the shop getting ready to do another project. I just recently did the keeping it old spool table and benches and uh, got it put out in the yard. And it was a big hit with the family. And my wife immediately was like, well, we need to make... We need to make some, make some seating for the for the grandbabies. But being a selfish guy, you know, I, I anything I make, I want them to, to rave about. I want it to be a big hoopla, you know, so. And I've not yet found a toddler. I know it. That gets excited about lawn furniture. So we're going to take the spool idea. And we're going to turn it into something that kids do like. So I'm thinking, how about a swing? Or a horse swing, specifically. So we'll put the horse head out here, tail out here. This body right here will actually be where they sit. And uh, they'll be able to swing front to back. But this one should be fun. Let's get started. Our head will be up here. You got to make sure we're going to actually use these bolts here to help support the swing. So you want to make sure that you orientate these bolts in a manner that's going to help the swing swing the way that it needs to swing. So I'm thinking that we'll come across like right here. We'll cut this this whole piece out, and this will be kind of like a a little step for them to put their feet on. So put a snout on the front. A cute little tail on the back. I almost want to swing on it. Let's get started. First thing we need to do is tear it down and get it to a, a workable state. Got four bolts on the top here. Okay, so this is going to be the rear end of the horse. This is my cut line here. So this is gonna be the platform for their feet. And this is the hiney, right there. Tail will be coming out this direction. And then on the front, same thing, this is for the feet right here. And this is gonna be the, the neck or the, or the mane and the horse will come, come straight out this direction. So let's get this sucker cut up and put her together. Well, we got our pieces cut out, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it together and continue the assembly. But it can be kind of tricky to get all the slats in the center. So this is how I do it. I go ahead and lay them on top of each other just like they're going to be. Just barely get it started. Now what I do is I tighten one down more than the others. Lift it all the way up. Just put your pieces in. At first it'll go in like no problem. Y'all see my new hoodie? This is actually the inspiration for the build today. As you know, we've been working on a horse swing for the for the grandkids. But I had um, we visited with them this weekend, and I was able to learn a couple of things. I had to do a test fit, you know, because it's very difficult to figure out just exactly where the step needs to be when you're talking about a little person a portion of your size you know so what I've learned is I need to make my steps I'm gonna move my steps down to here okay so and I'm actually going to utilize this piece I'm gonna drop it down to help support support the floorboards 
But what I've done is because I needed to have the grandkids test her out, uh, uh, wrapped it in leather. I want to use the same wood that I use for the spool, obviously, so everything matches. But for the horse head, I want it a little bit thicker. He's always chiming in. But so what I did was I had this wood flooring. I glued it together and you can just picture the horse head is going to go right on there. And then I'm going to have the actual spool wood on either side. So it'll be three layers for the horse head. But we're fixing to get ready to get this sucker cut up and get her installed. This is a fun one. Horse's head, as you can see, it's three pieces. How does that look? Like a horse? Yeah, I think so. I think so. You're like a broken record. They get on your nerves after a while. And then they combo. Yeah. More effective, guys. Okay, so these, this is actually going to be two, two boards thick, way more support than we need, so we should be great for the, for the kiddos. Boom, boom. Handlebars. Maybe, maybe. Okay, so I'll just shoot one to hold it. Hopefully. Well, y'all, we're finally finished. We started this thing the weekend after Christmas, and it's now January 16th. But we had to get it test fitted, uh, got the grandbabies out here, and, and found out real quick that we needed to make some alterations. 
it wasn't going to work for my grandson. But what we've done is we've added a main and we've added the tail. The main is, it's we actually used 3 8 black rope. And all I did was I just bent them over in half and I fastened it here and here to the top. If you remember when we made the horse head, it's actually three layers. It's got that tongue, that nice tongue and groove in the center of it. And then it's got a piece of the spool plywood on either side. When my grandson first sat on it, it was a little unstable. And uh, he was, of course, the head was not on it or anything, but I knew right then I needed to add handlebars. So what I did was I got some three quarter inch conduit. This is the trade size. And, but I actually bent a three point saddle on it for all my tradesmen out there. And uh, I think it's gonna work out perfect. We wrapped her in leather because we can't be having the grandbabies with splinters in their hineys. But um, the leather was a, was a sweet find. I had a buddy of mine that reupholstered some, some something, a couch or something. But anywho, excess leather that I end up scoring and hopefully he approves of the use of it. So, cause I know that the grandbabies do. But anywho, we supported it by a quarter inch PVC coated braided cable. You could probably hang a small bus with this, but I think it'll adequately support the, uh, the grandbabies. But when we first started the design, we had the, the long bolts that go through the spool and we added little L, our little L brackets on the front and the back. And that's actually where we hang our cables from. But after I got everything tightened together and secured like I wanted, I went ahead and put the, the welder on it and I tacked all these nuts so that they can't come loose. It is the grandbabies, so. But anywho, this one turned out super cool. So I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you next time.